Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we'll be examining the metric system and doing some basic conversions in the metric system. There are many people who like to display the progression in this fashion, sort of like a set of stairs. We have kilometers, hectometers, decameters, meters, decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. Of course, the most commonly used ones are kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. These three are rarely used, however you need to know them in order to make the conversions properly. One other area of difficulty, of course, is remembering the difference between des i meters and dec a meters. I try to remember it in this fashion. We have mil i meters, cent i meters, which means that des i meters is in the same section. If anyone else has a better idea of how to rem remember this, feel free to leave a comment. Now, I personally don't choose to do it as a set of stairs, although that can be a very effective way of doing it. I prefer to lay it out like this. Now, you'll notice I have not included meters here. That's because we can put a variety of different units here. The three most common being meters, liters, and grams, although there are a wide variety of other units that also can be included in here, which follow the exact same conversion process. For this example, we're going to work with meters. Now when you're doing this, one of the most important things is that you have to memorize this pattern. What techniques can you come up with to memorize this pattern? A number of years ago, a student I was teaching came up with this little rhyme. Kittens hop down my driveway catching mice. Or if you're doing liters, kittens hop down Lucy's driveway catching mice. If you're doing grams, kittens hop down George's driveway catching mice. Any one of those would work just fine. Or anything else you might come up with. The key thing is that you must memorize this pattern in order to be able to do conversions easily. In earlier grades, you will have been taught to do conversions like this. If we have one meter, add zeros to make your conversion. And that's how you would come up with an answer like that. However, at the stage that I'm teaching, I find that is not beneficial. And I want to show you why. Allow me to show you an example of how adding zeros won't work. What if I have 5.3 meters and I'm going to add a zero? and I need to convert them to centimeters. This number and this number are not different. These zeros have no meaning. And that's why when I'm teaching this, I prefer to think in terms of moving the decimal place, or changing the place value, if you will. So. If I am converting from here, I think that I will move the decimal place once each time I move down the chart. The decimal is now here. The lazy mathematician's invisible decimal is sitting right here. I'm going to move it over once more, and I'm going to need a placeholder zero to fill the hole. That's how I prefer to teach this. One of the challenges, though, for students is to remember which way do I move the decimal? Because they often won't remember. So I always suggest, if someone is writing a test or doing some work, that they write down this at the beginning of the test. And they also write this. Start with one meter. Just about every student knows exactly how many centimeters are in a meter. There's 100. That can tell them which way they have to move the decimal from then on. They'll know it's going to look like this. Of course, you have to make sure that they do understand that this decimal, which is moving here, will continue to move over here and here and, of course, here. Let's do a few more simple examples. I'm going to leave this sitting here as an example. 
And I like to have students sitting that, leave that sitting there as an example so that they are reminded which way to move the decimal as they work. So let's say we are given seven decimal six seven kilometers. And we're asked to convert that into millimeters. In the early stages, you're going to want to write down every single step so that you don't miss any along the way. Moving the decimal each time, adding placeholder zeros as necessary. Of course, you could also simply count. If I'm going from here to here, I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six places and simply take this number and go like this. I'm going to move the decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six places. Fill in your placeholder zeros. Erase the original decimal and you'll note that you have the same answer. And that's a review of how to do basic metric conversions.